Hello students, myself Professor V.V. Rao, I did my masters in statistics. So I have been teaching for various, you know, like uh, CA courses, if you call as CA foundation or CMA or CS. So I am one of the expertise faculty in these areas. Apart from this, I also a guest faculty in various business schools across India. So when it comes to statistics and business mathematics for CMA students, always you find little difficulty with business mathematics. Most of the times this kind of you know CA courses or you call as CMA courses, most of the students they do you know you know commerce students only opt these kind of courses. So obviously commerce students may find bit difficulty with this mathematics. So in this paper there are two areas one is fundamentals of business mathematics and statistics. I am going to cover only statistics part which carries a weightage of 60 percentage and the remaining 40 percentage which is about business mathematics. So let me give you the basic idea of statistics and then we will start our regular syllabus. Here if you talk about statistics we have you know like five different areas are available. One is statistical representation of data the weightage is only 5 percentage. The other one is central tendency and dispersion which is 15 percentage. Correlation and regression 15 percentage, probability theory and probability distributions also there for you 15 percentage and the remaining one is index numbers and time series. All these five different units which carries 60 percentage of the marks. Now let us try to understand what is basically a statistics. Once you are thorough with what is exactly statistics then you will be able to understand the concepts very easily. My dear students you all must have heard about the word statistics point one. Point number two in your lifetime people must have studied statistics either in their schooling or in their plus two level or sometimes graduation level. But if someone asks you what is statistics exactly, we always left out with a question mark. Why do we left out with a question mark? What is the reason behind it? Because in our schooling we have studied statistics but we were doing you remember like some graphs or frequency distribution, am I right? Or sometimes we do solve problems on mean median mode. But now the question is after mean median mode we do not know what. After constructing a bar diagram or pie chart we do not know what. So in the question paper they were asking us to construct a bar diagram and we were doing it we do not know what next. We left out with this many times. That is the reason why there is a little confusion about what exactly statistics is. So I am going to talk about in another 5-10 minutes what exactly statistics is and what do we do with this subject statistics then we will definitely come to our unit number 4 statistical description of data. Alright my dear students. Yes. What is statistics exactly? Statistics 
is basically one of the signs. Statistics is basically one of the signs. My dear students, you must have heard about thousand times about signs. Am I right? So, what do you mean by signs exactly? I said the statistics is one of the signs. Signs means which gives us solutions. Can you all agree with me? Signs means which gives us solutions. For example, this is a dark room. Somebody invented light so that we can complete our works. Today, you are sitting in your home and you are able to access my sessions. Don't you think it is a science? So, science means which gives us solutions. Similarly, statistics also gives us some kind of solutions. Similarly, statistics also gives some kind of solutions. What kind of solutions we can expect from subject called statistics? If you can understand this subject, you know, that particular area, you will be able to study this chapter very easily. So, this subject statistics we use in two contexts. Context number one is a data. Context number one is a data. Example, tell me India statistics. Example, tell me India statistics. Yes, what is the capital of our country? What is the total area of our country? What is the total population? What is the total male population? What is the total female population? What is the population density? Male female ratio? If you talk about all these things, we are talking about statistics as context number one. Example number two, tell me statistics of Karnataka. What is the total area of our state Karnataka? What is the total population? What is the male female ratio? What is the population density? Literacy percentage? How many rivers are flowing from in this particular state? All these things if you talk about this is nothing but we are using statistics as context number one. Next one when I am talking about tell me some particular St. Joseph College statistics example I am talking about. So, how many students are there in this particular college? What is the total number of you know faculties? How many are having UZ? How many are I mean how many are studying? How many students are doing UZ courses? How many are doing PZ courses? If you talk about all these things we are using statistics as context number one. So, this is statistics we are using as context number one. Context number two, whenever you are making a decision, we use subject called statistics. How frequently we use statistics my dear students? How frequently you make decisions my dear friends? Every moment, every minute, every second we try to make decisions. Should I listen class today or anyway it is you know available all 24 bar 7 should I listen evening or tomorrow or should I listen before examinations you try to make a decisions. Should I maintain any notes you try to make a decision am I right. So, listen very very carefully the moment we are making decisions means we are using statistics. The moment we are making decisions means we are using statistics. So, for making any of the decision, what is the raw material is required? Example, today evening you are planning for a movie. Before that, you should know the list of movies which are available in your city. Can you all agree with me? So, my dear students, whenever you are trying to make a decision data is the raw material data is the raw material this data has to be collected this data has to be collected so the journey of statistics always starts with collection of data the journey of statistics always starts with collection of data 
so without data you will not be able to make any of the decisions always for making any of the decision data is necessary so the subject statistics will help you how do you collect the data there is no other subject which talks about how do we collect data only the subject statistics will help you how to collect the data there are two types of data collection methods one is called as primary data and the other one is called as secondary data so primary data means you yourself collect it and use it that is called primary data somebody else already collected which you are going to use it now that is called as secondary data so my dear students please try to understand so whenever you are making decision data is necessary this data has to be collected there are two types of techniques for collecting data one is called primary data and other one is called secondary data primary data means you yourself collect it that's called the primary somebody else already collected which you are going to use it now that is called secondary data so in this particular point of time if you ask me sir which is better should i go with primary data or secondary data it is always depends upon your research objective because there is no thumb rule as such saying that either primary data is better or secondary data is better it is always depends upon your research objective because we do not have a specific rule to say that always primary is better or secondary data is better because there are merits and demerits of each now once upon a time your secondary data is also a primary data that means that have already collected by somebody else that means that was the primary data so there are some areas you cannot dependent on secondary data always you have to go with primary data only let me give you a couple of examples what are the examples example number 1 faculty feedback can we take 5 years old faculty feedback today no it is not possible definitely you will have to collect fresh example number 2 exit polls exit polls when i am talking about but as students this always happens before you know election results isn't it so they cannot use five years old data for making the predictions that is how it works the next one listen very very carefully so the data it is ready which is available for making further process 